Hi, good morning on this amazing day. It's wet and rainy, but we need the rain to quench the thirst of the trees and the plants. And uh, I just want to just wish each and every one of you a fantastic Thursday on November 28th, 2019. Uh, yes, it is Thanksgiving Day. Um, I really don't celebrate it per se for Thanksgiving, uh, but I do celebrate it for being with my family. Um, for, for those that have uh, American Indian heritage, um, my condolences on um, the passing of your ancestors um, from the, I, I don't know what else to say it, but for the um, unjust uh, massacre and killing of your families in the past. And it's, it's really kind of harsh to say this, but uh, you know, that's not the point of the vlog. I think it'd be rather, un educated on my part to just be um, unusually jovial um, but I, I recognize that not everyone celebrates the holidays some people don't celebrate Christmas and you know some some people just don't and that and that's okay and do your best not to take off offense and be judgmental because one person may celebrate it another person may and you know, I think if we have a little bit of, of, of tolerance, I mean, as long as no one's like literally like stepping on your toes or, or really infringing on your, you, you know, your, your, your free will, so to speak, w w within reason, you know, it, it's, it's ha given a little bit of, of, of I would call it a, a buffer. And I, I think it will actually lend to a greater understanding of other cultures and will actually eventually lead to just more a co cohesive, um, relationships with our neighboring countries and such. And I think a lot of the misunderstanding is just due to lack of education and just uh, lack of tolerance or just, um, you know, just plain ignorance. Um, I know that there's some things in the past, even my culture being a, a Chinese American that was like in, with my past uh, generational families, um, there were some wrongdoings and in, incited by, you know, the Japanese. Um, you know, I don't want to get too political on it, but you, you know, there's a, a very a strong power power in in the the genuine art of forgiveness. And you know, I mean, war is ugly. Um, you know, demonstrating one superiority over another and it can be pretty ugly. I mean, this stems way back before the First World War. I mean, we're talking biblical times when you know the Egyptians and the Hebrews didn't get along and you know even war in tribes among common ancestors and you know war has existed for a long time and either we if we, we make the decision to carry that grudge or those misgivings to our to our present state of mind and to our children then it doesn't ever end you know I, I think if we really kind of sit back and recognize for that that time that space and junk you know for what it was referenced to and realized what is it that we can do to make that change now for a better future you know and so I, I think a lot of it is as um, really stems from forgiveness and doesn't mean you forget but recognize the circumstances of that time that period of time so this really gives us a, a, a more um, opportunity for a peaceful world for our children and for their children's children so um, hopefully I wasn't too tangential on today's topic. Um, you know, I do wish everyone uh, a safe holiday in, in their travels and such. And, um, you know, uh, maybe like for those that don't have like close family and they don't celebrate, maybe they, if they would consider offering their time and volunteering the service at a nearby church or, you know, our cause or something to make the, the best of your day because your day is very valuable. And once that time is gone, it can never be recaptured. So on that note, I'm going to let you go. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. This is Jackie Ma Apex Training signing off for today.